is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. On breastfeeding, 5.15 a.m. Latching was never a problem for me. Luckily, all of my children breastfed easily. The main issue I faced with breastfeeding were nipple cracking and pain due to dryness, and I unfortunately just had to feed them through those things. The nipples toughen after a few weeks, and that goes away. The lactation specialist always said to aim for the top of the mouth and adjust the hold. It takes a few attempts, but once they get it, they get it. All right, let me sit, let me stop. I don't want. I know Heather posts things, and it kind of hits people different ways because a lot of people have gone through things worse than Heather or similar to Heather, and it really, it really frustrates them. Okay, so this is one thing that I want to point out because I don't want. I just want everyone to know it's okay if you did not breastfeed. It's great if you were able to breastfeed. And that's great if you tried to breastfeed. The only, and I will be honest with y'all because I am honest. The only thing that would rub me the wrong way. That's the only thing I don't like is whenever someone doesn't want to try to breastfeed for their baby because of them. Of, um... I don't know how I would take it or I don't know if I want to or whatever. To each their own. There's moms out there who's probably listening to me pissed as hell. Well, I have every right not to breastfeed my kid if I don't want to. That's fine. That's your opinion. My point is there is no shame in the game of feeding your kids, okay? You can breastfeed. You can formula feed. All you, guess what? You have custody of your child. You're feeding your child. I'm just getting tired. I don't want anyone to think, like, I have to speak up whenever I hear shit like this because I don't want, like, to keep relaying that type of message. I'm not, obviously, I hardly ever agree with anything that Heather says, but I definitely want to point this out. I don't agree with the whole mother shaming or keep on pretty much insinuating that you're just a bad mom if you can't breastfeed. Come on. Out of three kids, I've had all of it happen to me. I went through all of the emotions, when they did, when they didn't. Like, and the sad thing is, is that Heather, let me, let me just shut up. I gotta shut up. When you have perfect compatibility with your partner. So you and Xavier are good now? How come you don't see, Heather, are you not allowed to be with Xavier or are you just not like around him? I'm really curious why she had it in that video so quickly as soon as we heard Xavier's voice. Like she should be out of the shelter soon. So I don't know if she's still going to qualify to move up to a housing unit or something. Or if they're going to be like, well, technically you don't have custody of your baby. You know, you ain't, you ain't got a family. You ain't got a job. You, so you're going to have to just get back out there and hit us up and if you have I don't fucking know I have no idea I have no idea this is why it makes me so mad and I see her doing that stupid online shit that's fine if you want to do it for a hobby and it makes people happy but first you need a job so you can like live and pay your bills and have a stable life and then and then if you have enough time and money then you could do that on the side but no social worker is going to be like, oh, good for you, Heather. Look at you trying to make money. No, you're not going to make it on. No, no. Aww. 6.45 a.m., day 11, postpartum. Y'all are so right. We're going to hear day 98, postpartum. <laughs> Of course I'm wearing disposable undies. I'm a newborn mom. That's okay, I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, it looks like she's asking y'all to buy her some disposable underwear. How did you not bring enough home with you from the doctors? I always had leftovers. <sighs> Postpartum mamas, these are the best. Disposable and soft. Watch, she's going to start wearing those like all the time now. <laughs> sponsors this is the cooler if someone wants to order it for us or send a target e gift card that would be great 
So I found the cooler. Um, it guarantees ice for up to two days. So that's great. That would be fantastic. I actually am going to end up needing two of them. Of course. Um, but for right now, one would be fantastic. So for everyone in the DM asking how they can help or how they can be supportive, that would be fantastic if you guys could buy the cooler. I think it's $34. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow and pick it up. So use the email. She says she's going to go tomorrow to pick it up. Even though it ain't even order yet. See, she knows she's going to get what she wants. See? <laughs> that's so crazy to me. She said this at 10.55 a.m. Friday morning. Address one Heather G -E -E at gmail.com if you're sending a Target gift card. And if you are um, just going to order it for in-store pickup, just DM me and let me know so that I know. Thank you guys so much. Um, other than that, I'm going to follow up with my doctor tomorrow um, just about like what I can be doing to he to speed the healing process because it is hurting. Like I don't remember with my other three kids. I've been sleeping a lot yesterday and today, and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, but thank you guys so much for continuing to check on me. I just have to remind myself several times a day that the world's problems are not... I want to know, like, what clicked in her, or is it like, it's kind of like, whenever you see your dad, you got to straighten, or your grandpa, you got to straighten your ass up real quick. I wonder what made her do that, because in the tent, she was always like, they're keeping me in the tent, they're not feeding me, they won't let me out, I can't do this, I can't do that, and then now, all of a sudden, she's at a shelter, okay, that she's not really acknowledging has been real the whole time, whatever, whatever, whatever. We know Heather's not going to be real with it. But have y'all noticed that she's not yelling? She's not demanding? This is what I've always said. Heather knows when she needs to fucking watch how she acts. She hasn't been accusing anyone of anything. So, obviously, she knows when to rail it back, when to calm down, when to not be irrational. This whole time, like, it's been completely different from her, her little videos whenever she's from in the tent or wherever. It's always yelling at they, they, they. Um, people want me to off myself. Everyone's so mean to me. This, you know, has happened to me all the time. And now, all of a sudden, they are gone and no one is stalking her harassing her she was able to get out of the tent she's able um to be fed um I, I i just it's just like a wow you know so hopefully this shows people like for the because me personally in my opinion i think she had like something going on with her you know because of her past so you know maybe like PTSD anxiety I don't know um but drugs on top of that I think that made her like into psychosis and that just really flipped the switch and once you do too much and you kill enough brain cells you're that's it that's it you know you not everything is a mental illness you know some people actually do fry their brains and they can't they can't undo that like once you fucking do that you're you're done you're fried there's no reversing that's why we say don't do drugs kids <laughs> i just have to remind myself several times a day that the world's problems are not my problems that i owe it to myself and my children to focus on our lives and Good. that no matter what type of pressure i feel to pay attention to these other issues my prayers to God need to be centered around my own stability because as they say in um, any airplane that you board, if the airplane is in trouble or there is no oxygen, you need to first secure your own oxygen mask. I feel like she's just repeating something that someone literally just told her at the shelter. Ask before helping anyone else. And that's so important to remember in life. Um, you I need to secure my it? mask and the masks of my children so that we can breathe. Um, you know, once I'm able to breathe and sitting on a bunch of money, then I can afford to concern myself with other things. But until that time, I have to remember, you know. No. All right, that cut her off. I, that's a definitely different Heather. Like, I'm almost wondering, 
No, there's no way she started medication yet. See, she knows how to chill the fuck out. I wonder if she has any classes going on or she's strictly just staying in the shelter right now. That's definitely not saying, oh, take off someone else's mask, you know. Don't be awful to people, whether you can help them or not. Still have compassion and decency, um, which I think goes without saying. Face is so swollen again, you guys. But just focus on yourself first, and that's what I've been trying to live by. I woke up with this huge bump here. I have no idea how I got it. Um, oh, there she is. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm taking it easy. I'm taking it easy, and I'm just waiting for the next steps. And there's this ancient Chinese proverb that says something about when you've done everything that you can do in your power, you have to realize that it's no one else's fault, nor is it your own fault, and kind of just surrender at times. And that's that's kind of what I'm dealing with. Away? Surrender what? What do you mean surrender? Like totally like 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 surrender your material things right now so you can become a better mom or just surrender your kids and say of it let's see we gonna see no. thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you she is so different now that she's in a shelter oh she she went in there a long ass time ago to everyone who has helped me through this difficult time, four years have gone by since I've lived a life that is even slightly recognizable. You all give me hope, support, and love in various ways when I need it most. Thank you, Heather. Oh my gosh, usually she's so nice. I mean, usually you tell us to like ourselves, like you can't stand us. Creators don't separate from their work because they are their work. <laughs> okay, what is this? The recommendation letters. It looks like, look, looky, looky, Heather. It looks like you're controlling yourself. You're covering up information. You're not doxing. Good for you. I'm not going to read this just because I don't. I mean, literally. It's almost four years ago. Who's to say Heather didn't write these? You know, you never know. Reference one, if you are in need of home health services, please let me know. Heather, you have to apply. Don't use LinkedIn either. Do not ever go back to LinkedIn. Delete your profile. Don't use LinkedIn. Go to like Indeed. Go to specifically those websites. You need to apply for a job. Don't do this shit on social media. And another one. Uh, again, not going to read Oh my gosh, she tried to even blur out the number. Look at you, Heather. Look at you. All those people who freaking believed you and thought you were just crazy, crazy, crazy. And you're so mentally ill. And how could she get a job? She can't even control herself. Oh, did she fool so many of y'all. March 25th, 2014. Damn, that was 10 years ago, bitch. What the fuck? Okay, sorry. Um, not gonna read that. Good job. Blurred out the number. And one more. Thank you. That doesn't, like, thank you. Like, I don't know why she feels like she needs to show us the letter of recommendation. Unless it's like a, here, see, I told you I worked there. They like me. But we don't even know that they wrote them. It's none of our business, honestly. You need to focus on what you need to do. And it needs to be off of social media. Everything you need to do to get your shit together, have there does not have anything to do with social media. The only thing you need to be using your phone, internet service for, is applying for jobs. <sighs> It says, pray before every decision, small or big. God is in even the smallest details. Duh. And then she says, God, please make my way. Okay, but you have to do what you need to do, too. And we're back at the breast milk menu. This was March 2nd, 2024 at 724. Oh, my gosh, so much. You're, I don't know why she's doing, I think this is just a weight loss thing. Um, ultra thin crust pizza, chicken alfredo sauce, Caesar salad, mini muffins, water, protein water, apple, turkey breast. Okay. Whew, thank you, Heather. I could not finish my day until I read that. 
So I didn't buy the cooler yet. Someone DM. Of course you didn't buy the cooler. When? Wh why would you buy the cooler? Someone else always buys you the shit. So I didn't buy the cooler yet. Someone DM'd me and told me that it does not stay frozen for two days. I literally need it frozen for like eight hours. Six to eight hours. How did you get two days to six to eight hours? I'm so confused. Then what's the problem here? Um, pardon my hair. If you guys know... Is she at the shelter? Was that kids? Oh my gosh. I want to be a fly on the wall. Where is she at? I want to see. I want to observe. I've never been in a shelter. I know some of y'all have. And I love... I, oh my gosh. I don't love that y'all were in a shelter. I love how everybody has a different perspective in life. You know, like, there's so many things that people have in common. You know, that has happened to Heather. It's happened to us. You know? So, I like reading some of the comments. Because, like, the, the, the shelter she's at, I've never been inside one of those. So, I'm like, is Xavier allowed in that one? Because I thought he wasn't. But is he? Was that a kid in the background? Is that, does kids go there too? Like, I'm so nosy. I'm so nosy. I just want to see it all. If old Heather was back, she would give us a tour. But she can't do that. And I'm glad you're not doing that. Heather, good job. Good job. See? Self-control. Where'd you get it from? Funny, really good coolers at an affordable price, probably available at Target or Amazon. I need it for early next week. DM me and let me know, please. I need a cooler that will keep my breast milk frozen while I transport it for like six to eight hours um, in the car and or on public. Six to eight hours in the car? Six to eight hours driving? Did I read that? Did I hear that wrong? I need a cooler that will keep my breast milk frozen while I transport it for like six to eight hours um, in the car and or on public transportation. I'm done. I'm hanging. I'm. Okay.